This is Wick Carter live at the Maybe Center after sem- or quarterfinal Thursday uh, here in the five and five A and six A state tournaments. I'm here with Sam Duran from OK uh, Hoops Report. Sam was at a couple of the Class 6A girls games that we're going to break down today. Um, Owasso beats Edmond Memorial 37-34 in a close game. Um, Sam, you were you saw that game, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What were your thoughts about um, how Owasso was? They, I know they didn't play great, but how were they able to get the win today? They really they they got it out after a lot of mistakes early and missed a lot of free throws. If they hit free throws late too, they probably would have won a lot more comfortably. Was one of the more talented teams in 6A with the backcourt of Tara Milton and Meyer Benhauer. They're going to UT um, Arlington and Missouri State, respectively. And a big key going forward is going to be Meyer playing under more control and Taryn being assertive because Taryn is one of the most skilled guards in the state for girls' basketball, but he can kind of disappear at times. Yep. So Owasso, uh, number three team in Class 6A, gets the win. They'll face number four, Edmund Santa Fe, who is year in, year out, one of the better programs in the state. Uh, Edmund Santa Fe actually won today over Bartlesville, 48-42. Uh, I know Bartlesville had one loss, maybe two losses. Um, they were one of the better teams all the season long in Class uh, in Class 6A, but Edmund Santa Fe able to get the win, 48-42. I, would have, I was at that game, but I would assume Ravon Nero was a big reason why. She's one of the better scorers. She's, she's a strong guard. They can score at all three levels. And uh, Edmund Santa Fe, Coach Bass, always has those girls playing defense. So you know you can be in for a defensive struggle tomorrow between Santa Fe and Owasso. Yep. So that will be a great semifinal game on Friday. Uh, Choctaw advances, number 10 team in Class 6A. They beat Sand Springs 51-38. Choctaw will face PC West, who um, I think is everybody's favorite in Class 6A. They beat Bixby 49-41, and they're the number number one team in the state. Um, So tomorrow we'll get PC West and Choctaw at noon. Your thoughts on that game? Well, this is a rematch of a game, I think it was last month, where Choctaw gave Pumas West West's only loss in the, in the city of Oklahoma, where it sounded like Pumas City West left a lot of points on the board because the key with Pumas City West is getting out of transition, creating layups, and just causing havoc. Choctaw is an experienced team, defending state champs. They don't have Ana Lanusa anymore, but they still have her little sister, Aliyah Lanusa, and kind of senior wing, Bailey Golden, who's going to Oklahoma State mm-hmm. for – High jump, I think it is. She's one of the better players in the state, and they, they're a talented team. They have a championship pedigree. I think you're looking at another really good game. I mean, b- both these are kind of, I would say they're toss-ups. Toss-ups like that, yeah. and also almost like championship quality games. That, yeah. that's the, we're at the point of the year where all these teams are equal, and it's just who's going to make the plays when it counts. Yep. I, I agree. I agree completely. So tomorrow, number three, Owasso, and number four, Edmond Santa Fe, 1030 here at the Maybe Center, followed by actually right after that, Number one, PC West against number 10, Choctaw, who gave them the loss earlier this year. Should be a great semifinal Saturday in Class 6A girls. Uh, for Sam Duran with OK Hoops Report, this is Whit Carter with Squirtle Live.